Watch what happens when soap bubbles are placed into this tank. Now let's change the tank conditions and see what happens when soap bubbles are placed into the tank. first tank the bubbles sank to the bottom. In the second tank the bubbles float. This leads us to our question, why do the bubbles float or sink? The outer boundary of the bubble is made up of water, glycerin, and soap. The interior of the bubble is filled with air. So the weight of the soap and the glycerin and the water is enough to bring the bubble down. The buoyant force of the air is not enough to keep the bubble afloat, so the bubble sinks down to the bottom. The second tank conditions have solid blocks of carbon dioxide at the bottom. It's sublimating, it's dry, so it's sublimating to gas form. So there's a layer of carbon dioxide gas at the bottom. Carbon dioxide gas is more dense than air, and therefore it stays at the bottom. Carbon dioxide gas provides a buoyant force that pushes up on those bubbles to keep them afloat on that layer of carbon dioxide gas. Now occasionally I'll blow some air in there or wave my hand in there to shift around that layer of carbon dioxide gas so there's um, thinner areas of it so some of the bubbles sink down. Also some of the bubbles might have a little bit too much water and glycerin and soap compared to the amount of air inside the bubble and therefore those bubbles will sink down through the layers as well.